Nominate a family that you think is deserving of the Exterior Home Makeover. Brought to you by your friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Exterior Home Solutions, two minute drill before Tennessee plays UTSA. That game coming up at four o'clock. Eric, uh, all eyes again will be on Cooper Mays in, in pregame. Don't expect him to start, but where's he at in pregame, right? I mean, yeah. last week he was snapping with the number three quarterback. Is he still snapping with the number three quarterback, or has he moved up and is now snapping with Nico? I think that's something to bear watching. Yeah, I think that's a clear indicator. Again, last week down in the swamp, when he, were, he was snapping with Gaston Moore, you just you just kind of knew, like, okay, this is a guy that doesn't look like he's going to be a big factor in this game. But if you're moving around, maybe a few snaps to Joe, maybe a few snaps to Nico, maybe he doesn't start see if he's available and see if maybe they knock some rust off of him before you get back into SEC play next week. Danico Slaughter not expected to start. and wouldn't expect to see him in this football game. I'd say you'll see Gabe Judy Lally and, of course, everyone's favorite, Kamal Haddon, uh, to start this football game. And then I think you'll see a lot of Ricky Gibson. Um, we'll see if they give Warren Burrell an opportunity. Yeah. He got one last week, but then quickly exited. I think you said earlier this week, you need to see 30 snaps from Ricky Gibson you know, in a game like this. That doesn't mean that you know, Tennessee's blowing him out or whatever. You just need to keep pushing him along. I mean, Kamal Haddon's going to play. Um, you know, like you said about Warren Burrell, especially with Danico Slaughter kind of banged up right now. A lot of Gabe Judy Lolly, but you need to be pushing these young guys. You need to have more options. You need to, you need to have quality depth, and I think that's what a game like today you can build with Ricky Gibson. I think you just got to continue to build momentum. Get out yeah. to a quick start. Get some momentum. You got to build momentum for next week. You can't win this game 30 to 23 and feel good about where Tennessee's headed next week for South Carolina back in conference play here at home. I think this start and this game just in general is big to build some momentum on both sides of the ball. Defensively, they got to tackle better. Yeah. They got to get off the field on third down. And offensively, they got to score points. It's moving the ball and getting yards has not been the issue. It's getting it in the end zone that's been the issue. End of the day, I think you just need to be the bully. You need to be the bully. You're the bigger team. It's yeah. at home. You have an inferior opponent coming in. Do what you're supposed to do. Get off to a good start. Sustain that start. Because Tennessee got off to a good start last week and didn't sustain it. Sustain that, sustain that start. Score points. Uh, do what you need to do and move on. Because, again, it gets real next week with South Carolina. We don't condone being a bully unless it's on the football field. And at that point, yes, Tennessee needs to be the bigger team today against UTSA. He's Eric Kane. I'm Austin Price.